The Addison Central School District hosted a groundbreaking ceremony for their future facilities earlier today. Now, back in December of 2012, voters approved these additions in order to enhance the students' learning experience. Now, construction will begin on the district's $22 million improvement project. WENY's Asia McKenzie joins us with more. Asia. John and Renata, this enhancement project is phase two of the district's development plan. These new facilities will advance the math and science curriculum, concentrating on engineering. Educating locally, thinking globally, the Addison Central School District is looking to the future. District leaders and students broke ground on a $22.9 million capital improvement project after 18 months of planning. We have right uh, behind us will be our two-story uh, STEM wing, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. And we're really looking at that to be state-of-the-art, 21st century learning, a lot of project-based, uh, hands-on learning. That the STEM wing the, will be a part of the, the two-story uh, middle school. Here, in addition, the future, there will be improvements little, to the uh, infrastructure uh, of the uh, athletic complex at the Tuscarora Elementary School, which will be available to both students and the community. ACSD Superintendent Joe Diaguardi says today is an exciting one for the district, but there were many challenges to get this project up and running. A green light was needed from the DEC and FEMA because the school is located in a flood zone. It's rewarding when we get to this point, um, so all those challenges are like a distant memory, quite honestly, because we've uh, certainly overcome them and we're at a, we're at a happy place right now. Diaguardi says phase two of the district's capital project will inject He's life into learning. Upcoming students months. will receive pre-engineering yeah, classes ability. and advanced math and science courses. I feel hope because there's going to be all new equipment and we're all used to like old stuff and I think it'll just be new, it'll help us like get used to what we're used to, like not old stuff but new stuff. Now, the project will not create an additional financial burden on the annual budget or on local taxpayers. All projects are expected to be complete at the beginning of the 2015 school year. Asia McKenzie, WENY News.